Hello, my name is C, and today I have a post review for you. So I completed The Pentacle Witch by Maddie's Art from Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna go through my logbook, we'll talk about the system, and then the kit itself. <laughs> so, in my logbook, I have that this kit is a 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. It is that doesn't look right. 58 colors with one AB, five fairy dust, and one iridescent. So a wide variety of specials and they're all so pretty. It was the 20th kit I finished this year, 132 overall. I started it July 23rd and finished it August 3rd. That's pretty quick. It is a square. I didn't don't know if I mentioned that. It's a square diamond painted. Um so, just briefly, it's a beautiful kit. I wanted to try Diamond Art Club storage system with this kit, so that's what I did. <laughs> oh. Here is the trash for this kit. Not bad, some of this is still useful, but I just dropped it, didn't feel like sorting it out, so... There is the trash, very minimal, and I still have an extra bag of white fairy dust, so that's nice. In terms of other colors, it's really hard to see. Um, I did mention that there was one I was afraid I was going to run out of when I was doing a whip and chat. This guy. I did not run out of him. He was only up in this top corner, so it was totally fine. Other than that, I mean like a few close calls, but a lot of these colors were just used as shading, so there wasn't a whole lot. It's really hard to get this top-down view that I love to do for you guys um, with these containers because they are so deep. But yeah, tons of extras. Um, so her specials were the white fairy dust. There was a pale yellow, a pink, or a black iridescent, that crystal, and the AB. I'm missing a fairy dust. It's a red AB. There it is. Two fairy dusts, it's a green. Did I skip one? One, two, three. You should put them all down here. I don't know what happened. There's one here. It's three here. This feels very obvious. <laughs> okay. Which one am I missing? Oh. Where did you go? I know which one it is. Why can't I see the symbol? It's C19. Nine, there it is. The dark one. The dark purpley one. Anyways. Um, so yes, very, very pretty colors. On the Diamond Art Club container itself. It would be neat if there were smaller ones because having such a big container for like a couple dozen diamonds does not make sense in my mind. I think they said somewhere that they were looking into a way to make them smaller. Um, also, I don't know what's up with this tray, but the diamonds here, like, I can shove any of the ropes really, really easy, except this first one. There's something that just catches here, so I kept knocking containers up, and there's also this little bubble from the plastic, which I'm just constantly rock on, which is kind of annoying, but it's just, I'm being nitpicky because of the price. <laughs> Mine also came with this little stain on the side, which again, I'm just being nitpicky. It is a great storage container, it works well. I like the snap of the lids and how secure everything is, but I'm just being super, super picky because 
of the price. <laughs> These were not cheap. So, anyways. Here is that kit. Let's zoom on out just a little. There we go. So, this entire white, please stay. In the background is all that fairy dust, which I think is super, super pretty. Again, my nitpicky thing. I would have loved to see these, like this patch. Also fairy dust. All of that green fairy dust is highlighting in the leaves. There's pink in her flowers. The yellow, the pale yellow is in her hair. Oh, that purpley maroon one is also in the lines. Um, and her tattoos. I think it's okay. Special Diamonds on Skin Tones is not my favorite. It's so shiny. But I think it looks okay. It's not too in your face. However, her nails being crystals is not something I like because it gives this like clear see-through effect. Her rings, it would be totally fine. But her nails, it's a little weird. Um, rendering wise, I think it's stunning. I think the colors are really nice. I did have issue with this blue, so the symbol, this is the, it's a dark blue background with a black seven as the symbol, which made it tricky to see, however, it is the only dark blue, so it's, it's easy to figure out which one is supposed to be there, so it's kind of a moot point. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I did think in the rendering, I think her clothes came out more brown than black, like the artwork. Um, so you can kind of see in there. But I do understand why it was interpreted this this way. I'm also not the biggest fan of this bright. It's so hard to see with that how shiny these are. No, that made it worse. <laughs> but this purple right along her hip, it blends it into the background a little bit too much because when I was placing this, I didn't notice this was the side of her hip. I thought it was something in the background. So these, I almost took out these black dots, but pulling back, it makes more sense. <laughs> so I think they're, this could have been a little darker, but I understand DMC is limited. It's the same thing for her arm right in here. I think these background colors are a little similar, so her arm kind of blends in and loses those defined lines right in here. Um, but again, that's me being super, super nitpicky. The ready bee is in this pot. But like, it looks really good. I am super happy with this kit. Alright, I also love how her glasses and freckles were done. I think that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. This is Botanical Witch. I will use Diamond Art Club storage system again. I think they're super good. Maybe that issue with the sticking will loosen up as I use them. Maybe it's just because it's brand new. Who knows? But anyways, this is a gorgeous piece. Let me know what you think down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.